Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on changing the screen size or the document size of a flash animation and changing the frame rate. Remember you might want to do this in order to make an animation more fit for purpose. In other words, instead of using the standard default screen size, you if you were creating a web animation advertising banner, you might want to create a screen that was the right size for that kind of animation. So at the moment I've got a very simple animation that just moves an iPad mini across the default screen size of 550 by 400. If I want to make an advertising banner I wouldn't use that size of screen because you don't really see many ad banners set up like that. So what I would do, first of all I would actually make sure I, would, I could double click on my canvas to get the right properties bar. You notice this is the properties bar for the background because I can change the background colour and the size. So remember all you need to do is just make sure you've got the selection tool and then you double click on the canvas and there you go. So I'm going to click on size and I'm going to change it from 550 to 728 and from 400 to 90. Now these numbers I haven't chosen at random. This is one of the default size settings or one of the sort of industry standard size settings for a web animation. And there we go. It's now changed my animation it's actually changed the size of my screen and I need to get fitting window so we can see what we've got now let's actually shrink that so it's 50% and what I've got now is something that looks more like a flash animation that belongs in one of those now you can see I've got to actually adjust my animation so that it now works I'll put that up there now that's better the document's the right size, but I don't really think that that is a smooth professional animation that would work if I was putting this on a business's website. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to change the smoothness of the animation by looking at the frames per second, the frame rate. And the general rule is that the higher the frame rate, the smoother the animation. So if I change it from 12 up to 60, let's run that animation now. Let's look at the speed. It's actually increased the speed of the animation considerably and it's also quite a bit smoother. So I might want to spend some time adjusting that if I think that's a little bit too fast. Let's change it to 30 frames per second. But that has still that's a bit better it's still smoother and it's quicker as well so if I want to change those things they're done from the same menu they're done from the same way selection tool double click on the background and then you've got size and frame rate and you can change both of those things to make your document more fit for purpose and hopefully you can see the difference when the animation runs let's just change it again so you can see that was 30 Let's just change it back to what it was to start with, which is 12. And then run it one more time. Let's jerk here and slower. Okay, so you might want to experiment with frames per second and also experiment with changing the size of your animations canvas.